right, check it out, everybody. There's our scoreboard. Future up 2-0 in this best of five series so far. Penguins got a little bit of work ahead of him. Uh, last week, though, like I say, he was able to come back and win four games in a row. So definitely don't count him out just yet. Um, with me today is Kid Not. I am Andy Man. What is up? Technically, if you want to follow my stream, it is AndyMan80085. If you want to follow Kid Not, his is KidNot01. Go check out those streams. Uh, Kid Not does some awesome coaching and variety of other things. I do a replay cast request thing. So yeah, go follow that. You'll get all the info you need. But here we are at the Polygon Sunday Skirmish. So far, it's turning out to be a really good one. Yeah, Penguin is just down a little bit, but I have no doubt he's going to give us a good show like last week, you know. Yeah, I think the future, I think his aggression is really giving Penguin a little bit of a difficult time. But uh, like you said last week, Penguin was down 0-2. Uh, he was able to take four in a row, so definitely can't count him out. Indeed. So yeah, we are going to be hopping into this next game. Oh, there we go. Meant to start it in just a moment. So thanks for hanging out. Hopefully everybody's having a good Sunday. Uh, do be sure to hit that follow button and tune in next week. We uh, are trying to make this a weekly event for uh, Polygon Gaming uh, Sunday Skirmish. King of the Hill style event. So definitely hit that follow button so you can get notified as to when that goes down. Yeah, this uh, we're going to be playing this one on uh, Backwater Ladder Edition. This is a new map that's out. Uh, it's kind of exciting. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take this as a new map. And all of you that have been playing recently, you probably know all the different nuances of this map, especially that third pocket base that uh, there's really no access to it other than just by air. Yeah, indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into it. We are here on backwater, down in the bottom right. Currently up two games, looking good for Rival Gaming. Give it up for Future. He is your Red Terran player. And in the upper left-hand corner, we have our Green Zerg down 2-0. It is Psy Storm's Penguin. All right, Penguin definitely has a lot of work ahead of him. Let's see how he chooses to play this on Backwater. Have you done a lot on Backwater yet? This is, again, one of the new maps in the new map pool. I'm a big fan of all these maps so far. I don't I don't think I have one complaint about any of them, which is rare. I mean, I've heard lots of other people do, but people always do. Yeah, I like the different variety of the maps that they do. Um, a lot of times they'll, they'll do a pocket expansion that's kind of inaccessible, but this one actually has a pocket third that the only way you're going to get to it is by air. So it makes for an interesting map and a lot of... Um, different strategies indeed yeah and look at this strategy future uh, going for oh i thought that was way bigger in the shade it's kind of hard to see okay so it's not as big of a gap as i thought but still getting that uh outer wall here to get his early expansion uh looks like yeah it looks like pretty standard from both players uh hash gas pool from our zerg player it looks like we got a reaper expand from uh future Uh, keep talking here. Yeah, out. okay. So, again, <laughs> it's just a standard opening. Got a Reaper expand. And looks like um, just everything standard. We got a second hatchery down for Penguin. And the second command center is coming down for Future. All right. There we go. Just had to fix something real quick. There we are. All right. Yeah, things looking uh, pretty good for these players. No early cheeses coming out just yet. Um, yeah, looks very yeah, similar to the last two games. Uh, yeah, it is. Nothing uh, new of consequence, really. The kind of difference on this map, just a little bit, is that um, Future is using the barracks and the factory for a wall up on the low ground versus typically they'll do it on the high ground. So it looks like he's going to protect his command center. And he's going to switch the factory over onto the reactor, possibly for double Hellion or even Cyclone play. Yeah, there's the double Hellion right there called correctly and yep starport coming down so yeah maybe doing a uh, hellbat drops actually is my prediction yeah looks like we could be doing some hellbat drops we have the starport coming down for future and mm, no then... armor yet so maybe just alien drops but uh i think it's going to be some sort of fiery drop of doom yeah it appears that way we looks like penguin is going to take a really early lair so he may be trying to get into like a two base muta again 
Yep, he's also getting uh, Roach Warren. There, uh, there's the Roach Warren. Yeah, so he's playing a lot more, def uh, I think, defensively kind of this game. So far in the past two, he's tried to get that early third, and it has just not worked out for him. Future has been able to capitalize on pretty much perfect timings to be able to get in there, do damage, and then, uh, you know, retreat home to defend. Yeah, this looks like the, um, let's see, it's, it looks like an eight Roach push, seven or eight Roach push that Penguin's trying to do, and... He's going to have to get that going before uh, Future oh. drops his main. He's got Cyclones and Hellions. Oh, he's just going to call a good game. Whoa, no. He, I was just going to say he <laughs> needs to get the Roaches out just to defend. Oh, yeah, that's just, that's man. exactly what I was saying. When you do that Roach build, if you don't uh, if you get any economic damage done by the Terran player that's you know, before those roaches come out, then it's going to be GG. Indeed. So a quick game number three. Looks like we have our victor as this was a best of five series today. Give it up for Future here. Let's go back and look at that one more time. Future is our new King of the Hill champion, everybody. That means you're gonna be seeing him in the next week or so. Um, hopefully next week, should everything uh, fall in place. And he will be our yeah. new champion. And he does win that $10 prize as well. So congratulations, Future. Well played today, sir. Well played. Yeah, Future did a great job. He put on a lot of aggression, and in that game, he was able to put the aggression on before uh, Penguin could even do anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Hellion just going in at the exact right time. Had he even had a Roach or two about to pop, I feel like he would have stuck in there and probably been fine, but those Hellions were about to roast up some drones. Yeah, Brimcon mentioned in the chat that to the Zerg, you got to have faith in the Zerglings and the Queens, and he definitely didn't have any uh, defense up. So uh, I think he was trying to get those Roaches out without any, without any defense, and it definitely cost him the price. Yeah, Bree, uh, Bree here in the chat making a good point. You got to kind of have some faith in Speedlings and Queens for that early Hellion defense sometimes. Yeah, it's great to get the Roaches out too, but if you've got nothing to defend, your drones are just going to get barbecued instantly. So... Well, I think we uh, definitely had a good series, even though it was 3-0, and we do have a new champion, and look forward to seeing him next time on the Sunday Skirmish. Indeed, yep. Give it up for future, everybody. There's the scoreboard now. Exciting stuff today. Yeah, those were some pretty fun matches. A little anticlimactic there at the end, but uh, still some good games today. So definitely hit that follow button, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in, and be sure to go check out the Carolina Gaming Summit. Shaft is there right now. Uh, he is, of course, the head here at Polygon Gaming. Uh, but go check out their stream. Uh, it's Carolina Gaming Summit something or other. You can Google it and find it. I have no doubt. Uh, but they will be doing their award ceremony uh, in probably about three and a half hours or so. Uh, so, yeah, go give that a check out. They're doing a fun LAN event today. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I'm Andy Man. 80085 is my stream name. Go follow KidNot01 for some awesome coaching. Join my Tosis Gaming Discord. I'm going to plug that one more time. Here, actually, let me get a... Let me get a fun little link in the chat here. I had to ask too much work. I'll do it later. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to call it at that. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Anything you want to say, care, Kid Not? Yep. Nope, we're good to go. Take care, everybody. Enjoyed watching the matches, and we'll see you next week. All right, bye.
If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.